dream a little dream of me. Welcome Kinders, it's Jessica the Story Witch. Last year I made a flip through of the, my favourite witchy diaries, pagan diaries and planners. And I'm going to do the same thing this year. I've bought a few the same and a couple of different things that I want to show you. So I'll flip the camera around and show you in more detail now. Okay, so last year I bought the Wee Moon. I say last year, it's still this year at the moment, it's still 2018. These were the, the I bought these in 2017 in preparation for 2018. And you'll see these on the other planner video I did last year, which I'll link in. This Astro Moon Diary, the Wee Moon, the Witch's Date Book, and the Earth Pathways Diary. So what I found was, no surprises because this is my favourite one that I've been using for a few years now. This one, I have completely just used it. Things have been taken out of it. So I've ordered the newer version of this one, which I'll be showing you in this video. And the date book, I haven't used so much. With these, I tend to kind of use, I buy one the odd year sort of thing. And then I like, I do like it. And I like the, the illustrations are really good. So I tend to use those, but the information as far as the days of the week go and it just doesn't it's not what kind of gels really with my particular practice I guess so it's it's kind of generic -y information on gods and goddesses and things like that some recipes and things but yeah it's not for me as useful so it's the it's the sort of thing that I buy so I haven't bought that one this year the Earth Pathways, which I, I love this because, I think mainly because um, Glennie Kindred, who is one of my favourite craft writers, is involved in the kind of co-op who produced this diary. And the artwork and illustrations are really... It, the artwork's maybe not... It's more like, like you can see here, photographs and things. And then there's some gorgeous pictures like this one. The light is not brilliant, I'm sorry. But it's... Um, it, it's not as rich in the artwork as the as say the wee moon is for example which I'll show you in a moment but um the the main information in here and the the way it's, it's just I just like it and I like the kind of feel of the co-op of the earth pathways people who make these diaries so and again it's a UK based diary so that helps for me but what I fi was finding is I wasn't using the kind of day-to-day -day information that much. So what I've done instead this year is instead of buying this in diary form, I bought it in um, oh, you don't need that uh, in calendar form instead. So I'll still be able to use the pictures from the calendar, and I think I'll just pop it up on the wall here behind me and keep it there. And I'll probably then use it for 2020, oh my gosh, that sounds so crazy, doesn't it? As kind of collage fodder for my Bujo in 2020. So I'll show you that in a moment too. The Wee Moon is gorgeous and I always enjoy this one. It's just, it is expensive and it is for me in the UK to kind of get it over here in, um, in the UK. The information in here is wonderful. I love that it's kind of themed each year. And this, for 2018, it was La Luna. For 2019, it is Burning Woman. And maybe not Burning Woman. That might not be exactly what it's called. What is it called? Fanning the Flame. So I'll show you that in a moment. This, if I was in the right time zone for this diary, this would probably be my favourite, even perhaps over the Astro Carl Moon Diary. So the poetry and the pictures and the illustrations and things in here are just top-notch. So... That is why I wasn't going to buy it again this year, like I try not to every year. <laughs> and then I ended up buying it again. So anyway, those were last year. So I'll put those out of the way for a moment. And let's have a look through what I bought this year. Because some of them are the same, like I said, and some of them are different. So let's do the Astro Moon Diary first. This is my kind of workhorse diary, the one that I use more often than all of the others. It's the one that I actually use the astrological information out of and the one that I use for my times, for my moon uh, activities. Because it's in GMT or British Summer Time, which is my time zone, which makes it really helpful. Although this year for the first time, the makers of this diary have actually created a, a diary which has the times for US times. I'm not sure which, which US time zone 
it is created for, but it is, I think it might be Eastern Standard Time. I'm not sure. You'd have to look it up. But yeah, they've made one which is in US time. So for the first time this year, that would probably be a really good buy if you were in that time zone as well. So it's slightly different binding. Last year, they went for this kind of weird wrap over flap thing, which has got like little inserts here and here which I did not use at all and actually found it made the diary feel a bit bulky. So I'm quite happy actually that they've gone back to the, just the normal spiral bound. It lies flat and I mean this one was spiral bound, it was spiral bound inside but inside this kind of weird cover whereas this is just, just a normal what you'd expect. It doesn't have any fasteners or anything like that which I don't actually mind because I only use this at home by as my in my, by my desk and I use bits of it to go into my bullet journal but if you're carrying it out and about you probably want to get and in, in years gone by they've definitely had a an elastic closure but they obviously haven't done that this year you know I've done it in the past before now where I've just taken an old one out of an old diary and just punched holes in the back so you could use it as a closure so it depends if you want that you could obviously do that yourself or choose one that has that in fact none of the ones that I've chosen this year have got that so do you know I'm just so you know what I'm talking about you know like this kind of thing so it's just got like an elastic that's my bullet journal so but some diaries have that don't they and this one does not but it, that's not a problem for me so in the inside flap we've got 2019 as you'd expect and then the contents of what's in this diary I love the general information they have here at the front. It explains a little bit about the diary. It explains about the, oh, something in, something new actually here. Live new moon meditation broadcast. That's interesting. On the eve of each new moon, you're invited to tune in for our powerful live meditations. Oh, okay. So that sounds cool. Interesting. So I'll probably check that out. Because, the, like I say, the people who, who create this diary obviously do know what they're talking about as far. Well, <laughs> their, their perspective on astrology and moon, lunar astrology particularly does gel with my own. So <laughs> I will probably enjoy that. And then how to use the diary explains the different symbols. And included in here, it does have, like when the moon's moving into different signs, it also has the moon's aspects as well. So if the moon is square anything or trying anything or conjunct anything it will have all that information. It doesn't have the other planetary information apart from each month, which I'll show you when we get to that bit, those things. But I mainly work with the lunar astrology for my practice, so that's just perfect for me. If you want something that's a little bit more... I'm not, I don't think I've come across one that has actually like all every day in fact to be honest I find apps and websites are the best for that anyway because you can put in like an exact time that you want to check and things first anyway but this has got more than enough information for me it gives me the moon sign the phase of the moon uh, sunrise sunset moonrise moonset it tells you if the moon's void of course it even gives you little information like you're saying look out for the meteor showers you know it tells you things like that as well which is lovely tells you all about how to use it which is great especially if you're kind of new to this it tells you everything you need to know then the cycles of the month it's explaining kind of the lunar cycle basically and how that works um, and the different phases of the moon through there astrology and this is really handy i tend to take these out of the diary and stick it if i got in here i probably have and stick it into the front of my journal so you've got the kind of the symbols and it's got just like a little like that one's slightly different this was the one that was in last year's and this one is obviously so it gives you that little key phrases which I found quite handy to keep to hand I like to have that and the symbols that are used in the diary as well which are really really helpful the pagan wheel of the year like I said this diary is more focused on lunar astrology rather than the, the wheel of the year but because it is seasonal and it's working through the seasons, it does obviously naturally feed into the seasonal changes as we walk, as we work through the year. So it's showing the pagan wheel of the year superimposed onto the signs. So you can see like when those things are falling within each sign. So that's really cool. This is going to be a really long video. I'm, <laughs> I'm already on nine minutes. No, more than that, because I get to the little introduction bit as well. So I'll try and speed it up a little bit. But I wanted to show you what was in these so that you could have a really good 
look and see which one is going to be the best one for you because I know that's what I want. I will add the timestamps for each of the diaries as well so you can just check out the ones that you're interested in so you don't have to watch all the others if, if you know that that's not going to be what you can be buying anyway. So year ahead 2019, this is like a kind of astrological year ahead which I find really helpful. More about the lunar cycle and the different and how it works. Eclipses this year and another little handy kind of take out. I would probably take this out and pop it into my bullet journal or just copy the information into my bullet journal as well. Um, major and then some major things that are happening. So Uranus moving into Taurus is quite a major uh, astrological event. So that's in there. And I love they have these little pages as well. I like I don't actually use these. I sometimes doodle on them. But if you were using this just as a diary and not using it alongside a bullet journal, because I should have explained that probably if you're not familiar with my videos, I tend to just use these as kind of as to feed into my bullet journal. I don't use them as a diary in itself. I have done in the past, but I find what well, you'll see when we get to the weeks that the the slots for writing in for each day are very small. So I would you need to like have another journal alongside it if you want to be actually journaling as well. So the diary starts from the winter solstice. And it has a little bit about the winter solstice, sun entering Capricorn. This is quite cute. In 2019, I'm looking forward to. And then there we go. It starts straight away with the moon phases. Oh, look, yeah, we've got our full moon on the 22nd, just after the solstice. Really, really powerful time. Yeah, and then each month it has a little bit for that, for the sun sign, you know, for each of the sun signs as well. So you can look yours up for the year and what I love is each month it has the astronomy for that month it tells you what you can see in the night sky because there's nothing better in my opinion than actually going out and watching and seeing those what's actually happening in the sky it explains what you can see where you need to look to be seeing it again this is kind of UK specific information but presumably in the US version it'll be US specific information I'm sure of what you can see and for a lot of it as far as the moon goes a lot of it is very similar to us it's telling us the first this eclipse is on a super moon which is really interesting total lunar eclipse on the 21st of jan yeah look for the moon turning pink and red so it gives you that astronomy information and then over here i should have said this first really being as this is the first page it gives you the kind of astrology information so yeah, it's, it's got, I think it's got the best of both worlds, which is what I really love about this diary. New moon in Capricorn, information about what that means, space to make your new moon wishes, and then it's just, you know, as you would expect, the normal diary, showing the moon, and like sometimes if there's eclipses, partial or total eclipses, that's marked on here too. And then every pay, every sort of week spread has got a little bit of like either a picture or information. And that's the same as it goes through. So that basically, when it's a Wheel of the Year type festival, they do tend to have just a little bit of information about that as well. But there is definitely much more about the new moon in Aquarius. I love that picture, that's gorgeous. And this is one of the reasons why I love it for my bullet journal. The size of it is great for my bullet journal as well because it's smaller. So if you take pictures out of this, you can quite easily fit them in here and then decorate the borders and things with washi and stuff as well. So yeah obviously I like it from that point of view <laughs> uh yeah so let's just I'll I won't go through literally every page because that's just going to be you know it's the same thing as you go through gorgeous artwork and again every month has got the astrological information every month has got the uh sun sign information for that sun sign every month has got the new moon information I don't think it has a page it doesn't have a foot page for the full moon information it is definitely more focused on the new moon which well dark moon as i would call it which totally gels with my practice so that works for me but it obviously it does show you when the full moon is and gives, gives you the information for the full moon as well as far as like where the full moon is and that sort of thing so i'll skip to the end and just show you the kind of end notes so we're back in december Let's get to the end of December. So it feels so weird doing this because it's like turning into 2020 and we're not even in 2019 yet, even though that seems really freaky. And then we've got a list of all the contributors to the diary. There's like the same few people who do the astro the astrological information every year. And then there's people who've obviously contributed bits of writing and artwork and things like that. 
and then this shows the retrograde table ah, okay so this I, this wasn't in it last year but that's really handy I usually have to get that from somewhere else so that's really cool and again that's in for my time zone again I would probably be taking that out and popping it in to my to my bullet journal and then it also has these pages which I don't tend to use but if you were going to be using it as a as your only planner then this would be more useful as well with the moons for each month here as well it's quite nice all those and then it's got an ephemeris which does show you then all of the other astrological information for all of the planets so like I was saying it doesn't show you that on the day-to-day -day. it does it does give you the main events like if something's turning retrograde or if uh, it's like an if obviously if the moon is conjunct a certain planet then it'll show you that but then here in the back is showing you all of the information for that for the whole year which is really handy it's a it's a great for like an astrology diary it is fantastic so what well, that's just like a very faint pretty notes page there more notes pages more notes pages and then a little bit about where you can get it from and then there's the calendar for 2020 which is handy as well so you can refer ahead to 2020s. So I hope that's all been fairly easy to see. I'm trying to look on my, I'm recording this on my phone to see if that's kind of visible and I think it is so hopefully that's good and you've been able to get an idea of what this diary is all about. I love it, I find the format of it really great but obviously I'm not using it. It's not super tiny, there's definitely smaller, I've seen diaries, I think in fact the, the witch's date book is even smaller than this so You've got some information, so if you just had a couple of appointments a day, you could use it like that from that point of view and just note your appointments in those places. But I like to journal as well, so I just use it as feeding in, like I said, to my bullet journal. So that is the Astro Moon Diary, my favourite. <laughs> I'll pop that to one side now and let's have a look what else I got. So let's do another one that I did have last year, and so the Wee Moon. This is the 2019 version. Let me just show you size comparison. It's kind of a little bit narrower, but taller than the Astrocal. It's not a five, because it's a bit too narrow for that. Let's see how it compares. Okay, so it's a little bit smaller than a five. So again, taking things out of here would be good to pop into the bullet journal. Although this year they've gone for a solid, I should have said this in the Astrocal as well, from when you from buying these diaries point of view, I prefer to buy them direct from the supplier. So I always buy the Astrocal direct from the supplier. I always buy the Earth Pathways direct from, from them because they get more of the money that way. But you can also buy them on Amazon and like book depository and places like that as well. And this year I did actually buy my Wee Moon from Amazon because it just worked out quite a few pounds cheaper that way. And so I thought better that I'm actually getting it than not getting it at all. So. Yeah, this binding, which is new, it feels lovely. It's like almost feels like cloth. It is very beautiful. This is a very f sort of gynocentric female woman based moon diary. So <laughs> if that's not your vibe, you probably wouldn't be a fan of this. But if you are, you know, it, this is very popular within like the feminist spirituality, the goddess spirituality circles. So if that is you, then you might well like this diary and I'm sure you will have heard of it before. So We Moon 2019, Guy Rhythms for Women, this is always the same. And then they have the artwork on the front and each year has a theme. And this year the theme is Fanning the Flame. Look at that, super powerful. It's shiny, whereas the other one is matte, so that's going to be a slight problem from the light bouncing off it point of view. So already this is a bit annoying because of the spine, and as soon as I fold it back, I'm going to be bending the spine. So that's a little bit sad, but it has bent back really well. And as far as like ripping things out, I think it's going to be fine for that. Although perhaps once you start ripping things out, it might all just start falling apart. So we will see. So again, title page. Uh, just a ca overall calendar for 2019 showing the dark and, and full moons. And then information about the We Moon Collective, which is in the same table of contents, which is the same as every year. And then what is We Moon? It explains about the diary and working with the moon rhythms. I love these little uh, explanations. I, I've used this in my bullet journal with my blood moon cycle. Let's see if I can find that. 
yeah so they do this every year so I tend to pop it out and use it in my bullet journal because I love how they describe this, the phases it's brilliant it's one of the best sort of summaries of it that you will find for that explains how to use this book time zone so this this diary is in Pacific Standard Time so that is it but it does tell you at the bottom of each page usually let me find so it tells you all aspects in Pacific daylight time add three hours for EDT add seven hours for GMT so it does tell you what to do to kind of recalculate it for your moon time and again it explains like what all the information is it's very similar in that respect to the Astro Cal moon diary uh, sun sign moon sign moon phase it tells you a little bit about that kind of the terminology then that they're using and it, it explains that more actually than in the astro car which kind of assumes that you already know some of the stuff but somehow I still find that one easier I don't know it's obviously horses for courses is my driving instructor used to say so this is their astrological overview for 2019 I love getting the different perspectives from the different diaries because obviously they're all written by different astrologers so you get a slightly different interpretation obviously the, the planets are doing the same thing it's the interpretation that's different so I find that interesting you see like the overlaps and where different astrologers will find this different meaning in the same aspects and things sun cycles and aspects so that ex explains a little bit about that which is cool and in fact that's good actually because that is giving even more information about that so it's showing you like when the sun is in aspect to certain things challenging aspects oh, okay yeah so that's a kind of useful astro astrology background there sky oh that's just made me realize that this oh they have got them in yeah i remember seeing them now they have still got them in there the monthly astrology does have a a chart for the month I hope because it did used to or maybe it doesn't maybe that's not in there anymore which would be a shame so yeah no it's just got this it hasn't got the last year it had actually like a, a chart for certain dates which doesn't look like it's got in here this year which is a bit of a shame but I don't use it so much in that respect anyway so it's not the end of the world. The sky map for 2019, anyway, that's beautiful as well. That will probably be coming out in, into my bullet journal. 2019 skies are dominated by the clustering in Capricorn. You see everything kind of piling up here in Capricorn, which is going to make for an interesting year. But aren't they all interesting years anyway? And so this tells you at a glance information, the sun going through the different houses. So it does have a bit more background info here. But it's not super beginner-ish, you know. It's not, you'd need another book probably to help to explain it. But if you're already used to using astrology, then this is just really, it's, it's great. A nice little refresher on different things. When the eclipses are Mercury retrograde, the year of the pig, so including the Chinese New Year information too. Herbs with solar affinity, sun card. So last year, because it was lunar, it was doing lots of stuff to do with the moon. And this year, obviously, because it is fanning the flame, it's gone more with all the different things to do with the sun, which is really interesting. Beautiful wheel of the year. Oh, it's by Gwen. I knew I recognised it since I saw it. I know Gwen. She is so lovely. She lives not that far from me. That is beautiful. I'm so happy that they put her work into here. She has had work in, in this before and, and in quite a few things because she's just fantastic. You'll probably see in the background sometimes of some of my videos, I have her work there. It's just so beautiful. She's fantastic. Return of the Sun Goddess. So a bit of mythology here as well. And like we haven't even got into the whole the actual diary yet. But that's what I love about this. And that is why I bought it, even though I wasn't going to this year. I went for it again. It has poetry. It has gorgeous imagery. And it's it's very resonant for me because the, that whole goddess spirituality thing is is very important to me. So that is something that I definitely do resonate with. And then this diary is slightly different in that it, it does obviously have the traditional months on here as well, but it has, it gives you the moon, it, it chunks the months more to, in the moon cycle. So if you're working with it, like I know Lachette, Scarlet Moon Creation, she does her bullet journal like this as well. It works within the phase of the moon. So it, this first month zero in praise of the sun and it starts from, it's moon zero starting here from from December and it takes you through that lunar month 
obviously it's got, like I said, it's got the normal months as well, but it doesn't have a title page for January, if you see what I mean. It does it from lunar month to lunar month. So let's just flick through this first bit so you can see. And then we're coming towards moon one now, which is January the 5th to February the 4th, which is ceremony. Look at this, gorgeous. Walking paths of fire. Wow. Yeah, I love it. And actually this binding hasn't proved too problematic. It doesn't lie flat, so if that would get on your nerves, it's good to kind of know that. It almost feels too nice to write in as well, which is, <laughs> you feel like you're defacing it a little bit. But if you could just use it for reference as well, if you wanted to and keep it as a book. I've got quite a few of these kept for the poetry and things that are in here. Information on Imbolc, like it does on all of the kind of traditional, well, neo-pagan wheel of the year. Winter ritual, and then we're on moon two, you know, so obviously the moons, like I said, don't coincide exactly with the months because they are going from dark moon to dark moon through the lunar cycles. But, you know, that's nice. I like that. And if you are working with the cycles in that respect, then perhaps that will work. That will feed in better for you. And then we've got sun child and it just goes through the same as that with all the gorgeous imagery. And each month is quite different usually. A whole beautiful page on the spring equinox. Hmm. And the same as, as in the astrocal, it does have year at a glance for each of the sun signs, which is cool. You just look in the month of your birth, you know, or the month of your sign to find that. And then, yeah, so it works through there. So I'll go a bit quicker and miss some more pages to go through you get the idea it's the same kind of thing now as we're going through wow look at that Andrea would love that lots of wolves and women <laughs> okay so let's get further towards the end I've gone too far now okay so we're back in December 2019 to January 2020 and explains about the We Moon Collective, sister organisations, because they they are using the money from this diary to kind of fund lots of things as well. We Moon, we Moon University. Interesting. We Moon Tarot. Okay. A We Moon Tarot deck drawing from art and writing in We Moon over the years. It's been a subliminal work in progress since 1990 when we first started conceiving Wee Moon themes based on tarot archetypes. As author editor of this new Wee Moon project, I'm excited about being able to draw from Wee Moon art and, write, and writing spanning the turn of this century as an oracle for our times. Okay, so it sounds like that is actually perhaps going to come into being. So yeah, the last few years it has been working through these themes more explicitly. So... In 2017, it was Stardust, the star, and then 2018, like I said, last year was La Luna, the moon. This year, Fanning the Flame and the Sun. So next year is going to be Judgment, and the year after is going to be the World Card, so that's interesting. This is the staff, the Wee Moon staff, <laughs> and ancestors, which were people who worked on the Wee Moon who are now past. In you know, it's a, it is a political organisation in that it's very women's rights and supportive for women's rights, so it does have all this information. All the contributors, which is wonderful, so Gwen will be in here, which would be nice to have a little read of her bit. I'm going to flip through, so you can see, just look at his pages and pages of, of contributors. And then map of planetary influences, so it tells you like a little bit about the different planets. Goddess planets, oh, okay. So it's got information about the asteroids as well, which you would, don't find in a lot of planets. Ephemeris 101 explains what an ephemeris is, which is handy if you're... So this one I think actually is, it maybe would be better for somebody who is earlier on in their journey with astrology than perhaps the astral car, which assumes a little bit more knowledge. But, like, you would need a magnifying glass for this ephemeris. <laughs> it just literally looks like dots and dashes from here but there we go that's the asteroid ephemeris and then the planetary ephemeris is slightly bigger but not much so that is fun <laughs> like most of this information now is more easily found online and then very similar to the to the we uh, to the astrocal it's got these moon phase months 
and these which I love as well which takes you through each month you know so you can actually track the moon as it goes through which is lovely constellations a little bit about the different constellations of the zodiac signs and symbols so that's similar to what's at the front of the astro car aspects other symbols a 2020 overview and then it has like a little bit of advertising for the different other publications that they produce which sounds like soon there will be a tarot deck which is very interesting to me conventional holidays listed out and how to submit your work for we moon which is like they're like 18 months ahead of the year so you know you'd be submitting for 2021 <laughs> oh no we win 2020 2021 the 40th edition tentative theme is the world call for contributions available in the spring of 2019 and the date for submitting it will be august 15th 2019 so that's yeah you know it's very in advance of your thing and you've got a few just notes pages there with some pretty pictures there on the side as well so that is the we moon yeah, I'm sorry about the length of this video, guys. I hope this is interesting for you. And then this diary I bought... I've had this twice in the past, I think. I, they haven't been making it all that long. I think about 10 years, probably. It might explain about that inside now. It was slightly smaller format last time I bought it, and it also was a lot stiffer. This is very... It is card on the front, but it feels quite... Thin, which I was a little bit disappointed with when it first arrived. It doesn't feel very sturdy. Obviously, I'm going to be using it as a kind of desk diary bullet journal feeder anyway, so that doesn't really matter for me. But yeah, I was a little bit disappointed with that. It looks really pretty. It looks a little bit more kind of twee. The last one I had had like a cardboard, just like a dark brown cardboard cover and almost like kind of etched front so it kind of looked a little bit more oldie worldy but I'm sure the information here is it's more kind of folklore based this is not like a specific pagan diary so but interesting from that point of view I can just hear everyone's just come back home so hopefully that's not gonna be too loud in the background the wheel of the year and it you know it's because the people who write this are very knowledgeable about the the older ways and things so like straight away although the wheel of the year is a fairly recent construct it is a great way of observing and celebrating certain points of the year so you know it they do include things like this because they know people like it but the focus in this diary is much more on the the folklore specifically the UK folklore but I expect there will be people making these in different countries as well so yeah, so it's very similar format. It's got sunrise, sunset, moonrise, moonset, but it does not have the moon signs in here. But what it does have is the normal, the holidays, and it also has holidays that are like folk, more folklore holidays, things that would have been celebrated in the past. And each time it gives you a little bit of information about the Victorian High Society mark New Year's Day by holding open bonuses for their unmarried daughters to meet local eligible bachelors. The bachelor would most likely receive invitations from a number of households and would spend a short time in each chatting with a potential suitor before moving on to his next engagement. <laughs> Speed dating, Victorian style. And yeah, so it's going to give that little bit of information on the bottom of every... Uh, page and then it also has these chunks of info as well which I find kind of cool really I do I enjoy that and it usually has references actually as well from where these things have been taken from so that's quite cool as well yeah and then sometimes it will have pictures instead which just obviously makes it a little bit less dent dense not dent and even recipes, which uh, it, it had last time I saw it as well. So it's slightly bigger format than last time. I think it is slightly larger than A5. It lies nice and flat because of the spiral binding. It feels like the kind of cheapest in quality to all of the others, but it's the paper quality is actually very nice. So once you open it up, it is lovely. Yeah, so much of a muchness going through the same. This would be no good if you were... It does give you the moons when it's full moon. I think it gives the, the moons when it is dark moon as well. Yeah, it does. It gives you the quarter moons and things as well. But it doesn't give you moon signs. 
So if you're looking for that, this would not be so great for that. But if you were looking for a more folklore based diary, then this would be good from that respect. And I that's why I've got it this year because I enjoyed those things before. Like I said, I think I've had this twice before, so it's not like a favorite favorite, but I do like it. Yeah. So let's get to the end because it's all gonna be very similar to this now. I like when the information's, you know, just giving them these little kind of little bits of information, which if you're interested, you can then kind of go on and find out a little bit more about it, which is cool. And the pictures are, will be great for popping into the bullet journal too. So, okay, so that's it really at the end. It's just got a farewell and a little thank you to the local printers and a thing for 2020. And that's just, that's it. Addresses and contacts. Oops, sorry, knocking the camera. Yeah, so I can't, I should have got the prices for these. I can't remember how much each of them were now but this I think this one was a little bit cheaper but not massively cheaper and I did buy it no I think I did buy that one off Amazon as well because it was quite tricky to buy it direct from the seller so yeah I'll I, I'm not sure about that yet <laughs> I'll let you know when I've been using it a little while so this is the Earth Pathways wall calendar which I will get out of its packet if I can figure out how to do it here it is Oh, this is not it's gonna to be too big for me to show you on here now probably but this is the first time I've had the calendar rather than the diary so it'll be interesting to see how this works out it's got animal wisdom that's interesting for the whole year and then it starts then with January okay it's got invocation there seek the blessings of the ancient you and then the pages are just gorgeous actually for the for the month it's got the full moon and the new moon on there and the eclipse information actually oh, on sun okay it's got like a little bit of other information like when the sun is moving into the next sign but yeah not obviously not masses because it would leave you no space for writing in memories of a blessed look at that that's so gorgeous it's like needle felted gorgeous yeah, these pictures are really, really pretty. I'm going to love having this up on my wall. That's really lovely. So it's kind of similar to what is in the diary, but obviously in bigger format, and there's not as much information, obviously, because it's on a on a on a calendar format instead. So it's like it's A4, or slightly bigger than A4. It looks actually, and then obviously when you open it up, it's going to be A3 size. So let's just go through. Oh, look at June. That's my birthday month and that is just beautiful. All those mandalas. And each month looks quite different because they've obviously had different artists to draw the different things. So that's cool. November. December. It's like time travelling, isn't it, doing this? It freaks me out. <laughs> and then our new moon earth healing ceremony. Okay, so it's got like a little bit of extra information at the beginning and the end, a little bit about the new moon energies, which is cool, telling you about the different things, and then who's contributed to the calendar as well, which is nice. So yeah, that's going to be nice to have it up on my wall. I didn't feel that I needed another diary because I already had quite a few diaries. You probably think, who is this crazy woman buying all these diaries, which I was like last year. And I have got one last thing to show you. I won't flick through these. In fact, it's two last things, really, I guess, if you're counting. I also bought two almanacs for this year as well, which, again, are kind of specific to UK folklore. But I I've, I I've was looking at this one last year. The, it was the first year they made this one last year and it's had really good reviews and people have been like, the information here is really good. And it just, it feel, it wasn't very expensive. I think it was like seven pounds and it feels lovely. And like when I, I had a little look through 
and it's already like gardening with the moon and stuff like that so I'm I'm fully on board <laughs> with this information it's, yeah it's got like a little year at the glance uh, month at the glance and then the sort of typical weather and information and things like that and which animals what animals are doing now and recipe ideas you know all the things you'd expect to find in a in a nice solid almanac so that I'm really excited about getting stuck into that and it'll be lovely because I'll just dip into it a month at a time which would be really nice and then this one is bigger than I expected it was being this was a little bit more expensive I think this one was 13 pounds and this is actually a, a TV program in the UK they do autumn watch and spring watch and they've started doing winter watch now as well but it's not sort of specifically tied to that I think it's more of like a a marketing thing you know and the the forward is written by one of the presenters of the show but then it's got information about what the animals are doing birds and things like that you know it's it's just it's nice and I'm still working on this year I've been working on getting outside a lot more and just kind of exploring this new place where we where we're living now and yeah I think it's going to help with that and to get me noticing things that you know sometimes you can get stuck in your ways when you do the same things at the same time every year <laughs> so I think this is going to be it's going to open my eyes up I hope with both of these so they are also going to be they almost feel too beautiful to take things out of so perhaps I won't but we'll see I I have been known to deface a book like that so I hope that was interesting and useful and not too long. <laughs> like I said, I'll put timestamps for all the different calendars so people can just watch the bits that they want to if, uh, if you know, they ha you haven't got time to watch the whole thing. If you have watched the whole thing, which presumably you have, if you're listening to me witter on now at the end, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for watching. And I will see you very soon. <laughs>